This is the future. The future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is Minecraft episode 16 and this is a new build site um, if you're wondering what we are doing here we are about to build our second castle but this time we're gonna go big we're not gonna play around this time we're gonna go really big and I really want to build this place like I kind of wanted to do the first one so this mountain that I'm on now is the highest mountain in my immediate area and once this site is built then I would have built something in all four directions of my house so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Um, okay, if I say immediate error it's within the first 10 seconds of moving away from the house. So it's not close to the house but it's also not extremely far. And uh, this is the highest point. So, my idea for this castle is to do um, everything you can think of within castle walls. Uh, farmland, marketplace, uh, cathedral, well, not cathedral, it's too big, let's say a chapel. Let's say a chapel. Um, then, obviously, the, the castle itself, the main buildings. But we're going to do it step by step. So. The first thing that we're going to build now is the throne room again. For some reason I like to start off with the throne room. Um, actually I had no idea, I still don't have any idea how this castle is going to look at the end, uh, how, how or where I'm going to build what. All I wanted to do now was to level out this top of the mountain just to give myself a bit more space to work in and uh, as we progress through the building of or the leveling of the mountains and the shapes that I see I will decide what I will build and where I will build it so uh, yeah let's get to it let me show you guys how I build the throne room as you guys can see I've got a nice big level space now and um, I had to unfortunately break down my beacon because the tree that had the beacon in was in the way so this is going to be the place then for my throne room. This mountain that I'm building on is also filled with waterfalls and lava falls and also a lot of cavern systems so it's going to make for a very interesting build. I didn't know what I was going to build with. Um, am I going to go with an old look again, uh, you know like a stony look with stone cobblestones? Uh, it's going to look like an old medieval kind of castle. And then I was thinking more of uh, one of the Bavarian castles that uh, Ludwig built. Um, maybe going for something in color, going for concrete. So I decided I'm going to use the, the stones as the foundation and the different colors concrete for the walls. Now I wanted to keep the castle uh, an authentic grayish color, but um, after I finished building it I decided, eh, I don't know, maybe I should go for white walls instead. Um, but yeah, we'll see when as the castle progresses what we're going to do with it. So at the moment just um, stone bricks for the foundation and from there on we're going to use some grey concrete. As you guys can see I'm really going big this time. This is just for the throne room. Um, I needed to learn how to build bigger. So if I wanted to do what I wanted to do I need to have space. 
All the practice that I had in building all the previous places is coming into play here. Um, I wanted to give this um, throne room a very high ceiling, giving it that very big, awesome big uh, feel to it. So the same roof that I did on my second house is the same kind of roof that I'm going to use here. For the windows, I wanted to go with multicolor plane panes I actually wanted to do like designs but I have no idea what type of designs I want to make so I just went with uh, multicolor windows and I'm also going to make big windows to let more um, natural light in when the Sun is up you will also notice for the doors that I went and added extra wood above the doors to give it an illusion of a very big door because you cannot have a big open hallway like this and have these small um, doors it doesn't look good so these wood has been uh, have been added to actually give you the idea that it's gigantic doors so to get some contrast and a little bit of different colors I decided to use black concrete for the support beams that will hold my um, pillars I don't want to use plain old blocks for, for the pillars, so I found these nice design uh, pillars. I think it's uh, granite or quartz that I'm going to use. I incorporated both designs in one pillar and I also used smooth quartz to make a bit of a different design at the top so it doesn't look too boring and too the same you know so give it some different definition and a bit of a different look I also quickly realized that building with black is extremely difficult especially when it becomes nighttime and especially when I started putting up the roof because I used a black stone uh, on the roof to make everything on the roof dark and black and uh, this concrete is so smooth I didn't want to use this, the concrete for the roof as well and cobblestones was an option but there's a nice chiseled black stone which looked better but uh, it, that was very extremely difficult to build um, with a black roof I wanted to do something special from the door to the throne including the red carpet idea so I placed white marble in the center down until we get to the throne and the rest of the floor I'm going to do in a dark blue terracotta tile. I like how the terracotta and the marble reflects the, the candlelight. So it, it actually looks very nice. And yeah, here we go with my carpet. As you guys can see on the pillars, there's two different designs now that I discovered. So I could make them all the same design, but I thought this looks a bit better if I mix up the designs a little bit. I wanted to put some gold into my throne and unfortunately you don't get gold steps. So I had to incorporate uh, some gold and some marble into my throne. I also placed this interesting looking railing around it just to give it a bit more of a uh, What's the definition? But I just wanted it to look a bit different. Next step was to de um, decorate the walls a little bit so that it doesn't look so plain and boring. This time I used a loom to uh, customize my own banners. I thought to myself, I'm not going to put up any plain boring banners this time. I'm going to create my own. It's just a shame there's not a lot of design ideas or design plans already in the game. So I had to use what I had. The next step was to do the roof. As you guys can see, it's a very interesting black stone that's chiseled. And depending on how you pack your stone, it actually creates a design, uh, which is very interesting. But uh, yes, the main room itself is kind of finished at the bottom, so now we're just closing off the roof. 
I think the roof is the most tedious thing to build because it really takes long. It's a long boring process to build a roof. After doing the roof I had to cover up the bottom of the foundation. Remember the foundation is mostly hanging in mid-air so to cover up the edges and make sure that the castle is actually standing on firm solid ground I had to close all the areas that was open in the corners so I used the same black stone to close off all the gaps you guys can see the interesting design that you can get from the stone if everything is packed all together And here we go guys, a final look at the throne room. This is our first building in a series of buildings that I'm going to build in my castle. And we'll do the castle walls the last, very very last. We're first going to do all the buildings that's going to make up the castle. But yeah, this is the outside look of the throne room. Uh, I think you guys have noticed that in the middle at the top I've also placed um, glass again and finally here is the throne room inside so guys i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it and remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further or newest upload especially when it comes to this castle build and uh yes um, remember whatever you do keep it safe and until next time cheers